Husbands and Knives is an okay episode of The Simpsons. I didn't love it, but there were some good moments. This is the seventh episode of the 19th season, directed by Nancy Cruz, and it's actually got a really long setting up. And thankfully, because I really liked it, that wasn't too bad, but it did take quite a while to get anywhere. It starts off with a new comic book store opening up opposite comic book guys. And I loved the scenes in it. I just thought it was so much fun. So many things to look at. So many of the characters there really thoroughly enjoyed it. But I do feel like it was a little longer than the usual setup. So had I not liked it, that might have been a bit of a problem. And then we get in with the the main narrative, which is Marge opens up a gym for the average woman. And I feel like... A woman's only gym is not something they would try and tackle today. Well, it's The Simpsons, maybe they would. But certainly, I think the concept of a gym without mirrors is a pretty good idea. Um, For those of us who don't like to see ourselves that frequently, and certainly not when we have gym face, uh, or you know when we're exercising, I think it's a pretty great idea. And the whole point of it is to get away from people who are judgmental, And I feel like people who like to work out at the gym and judge other people for their bodies are not going to go to a mirror-free gym. So I thought that was a pretty neat idea. And Marge becomes really successful. But Homer's really worried that she's going to uh, upgrade for a trophy husband. And Homer takes drastic action. I won't say exactly what he does, but I will say it looked weird. And... In in a way that was very effective and really interesting, but definitely unnerving. I liked it. I thought it was a good concept. I've mentioned probably numerous times, I always like it when Marge has a chance in the spotlight, when she has a chance to try something different. And this is what we get here. And as I said, I love the concept of a mirrorless gym. Because no mirrors, no judgment. It might not be that easy, but I do really like that idea. And I think one of the rules was no cell phones as well, if I'm not mistaken which might be a problem if you listen to music on your phone. But again, I feel like, I mean, I have I, I have exercise equipment at home. I haven't been into an actual gym in a long time. But I feel like with the increase in selfies, I would hate to be working out, gym face, full sweat, and I'm, you know, in the background of somebody's selfie. I just hate it. So massive credit to Marge for this. I think she did a wonderful thing and uh, definitely deserved her successes. I completely understand Homer's insecurities, but I didn't love the way that part of the narrative went. I feel like had they explored things in a bit more depth, you know, had a a shorter introduction and and got the ball rolling more quickly, I might have found it more interesting. But what we got was okay. It's an okay episode. It's never going to be a personal favourite, but I certainly wouldn't skip it. There were enough things in it to... You know, keep me engaged, love the opening, love the new comic book store. Really liked Marge's story. It may not be the best episode, but actually, Husbands and Knives, I've just got that title. Husbands and Knives is uh, pretty good. 